Hey, welcome back. We got more Elden Ring today. Last video was practically dedicated to just Bale and Egon. I did explore a little bit of the map so I could get stronger for the fight, but I avoided the main DLC story stuff because I wanted to beat Bale before anything else in the DLC. This boss was giving me so much trouble, and like Egon, I got obsessed with wanting to kill him. So besides exploring locations for Shadow Tree Fragments, I avoided all DLC stuff until I bested Bale. I did beat him, of course, but that was after I upgraded the Dragon Grey Katana and summoned Egon. Egon. These two things helped me turn the tide on Bale, like the fight was so much easier after I did these two things, I didn't even have to summon my Mimic. Egon didn't even do that much damage, but his support helped me lock in so hard, I was dodging so many of the attacks that I was having trouble with for like the last two days. I will be honest though, I was not expecting to do that much damage with that weapon. It shortened the fight by like so much time, but also leveling up the Shadow Tree Fragments also worked wonders. Seriously, leveling up the Fragments and Overpowered Weapons will mess these bosses up. Up. Either way though, this fight was perfect. This is without a doubt the best dragon boss fight ever created next to Madeira in Dark Souls 3. I love the fight so much that I went into seamless co-op and just kept replaying the boss fight over and over again until I got really good at it. I even fought him with the HUD turned off one time and it made the fight a thousand times more cinematic and fun. If you want to check it out, I actually posted it on my second channel if you want to see it. And man, shout out to Egon, he's probably my favorite NPC now from all of From Software. His time was short, but he made his mark by creating a new copy pop over Twitch streamers and a new vocal stim for when I need to let out some anger. Curse you, Bale! Behold, vile Bale! I have depicted myself, Egon, and the Drake Warrior as the chance, and me! The Fun fact, for the guy who voiced Egon, it was actually his first ever voice acting role. So he had never done voice acting before, and with the amount of lines that he had, he could have gotten this done at home in like 30 minutes to an hour. But no, turns out bro was in the recording booth for 6 hours because Miyazaki wanted his lines to be as perfect as he could get them. Even the man right here saw the potential in this very obvious Moby Dick adaptation. It just shows how much passion they have for these games and how much work goes into these little things. Like voice acting for a side quest that you can easily miss. So yeah, Bill the Dread might just be my favorite boss fight of all time next to Slave Knight Gale because those are the only two boss fights that I can think of that are just beyond perfect in every way imaginable. But anyways, enough with all that. Let's see what the fuck else is happening in the Shadow Realm. Shadow Realm. <gasps> Oh, what the fuck are you? I hate it here. Everything's bigger. Everything can fly. This place sucks. I want to find all the secrets. Find all the secrets. There is another bear. I'd rather fight you than right now, Mr. Red, Red, Red Bear. Never fucking mind, I don't want to fight you. Uh, well, uh, at least this is open because uh, Mikola broke his great rune. So uh, let's let's see what the hell is down here in this other secret part of the map. Whoa! What the hell? Literally just an underground area with a bunch of giant coffins. I abandon here my love. How do you do that? How do you just throw away the entire concept of love from your psyche? Oh, 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 oh. These guys are dangerous now. I don't need a sniper on me. I'm alive. I'm good. Uh, we're back again, everybody. Uh, why the fuck did I just sound like Courage the Cowardly Dog right there? We're good about those. Edge. Fair enough. Oh, what the? Ghost misbegotten? Use him, what? Hey! I get it. Just like Dark Souls 1. What the fuck is this? Holy shit, are they all sleeping? Shit, they're all sleeping. What the hell? Boss fight time? Boss, boss, boss fight time? Try holy damage. Oh, please grant me the courage to fly to your feet, my dearest. Sir Trina. Saint Trina. Jumping. Try jumping. 
sing with me, sing for the year, sing for the memory, sing for the tear. Okay, now this is 110% Dark Eater Madeer territory, but uh, no dark ahead dragon, so no Dark Eater Madeer. Visions of Dark Dragon, so there is a dragon here. No. Oh, that ain't a dragon. That is not, that is nowhere near a dragon. What a weird weapon you got. It's like the same shape as a uh, Orphan Akasa's weapon. Oh, yep, I knew it. Prude, um, Prude Recent Knight. I can't read. What was that message about using holy damage again? Oh, uh, yeah, this can work. <laughs> yeah, baby. Remembrance of Putrescent. Thank you, Sacred Relic Sword. I, I I always knew you would come in handy eventually. I always knew you would come in handy eventually besides just farming runes. Hello? Are you Mikola's love? In what? Well, let's just see what happens. I guess I'll figure this out later. Maybe it's tied to a side quest or something. Uh, the fuck? Huh? I guess I now got a gateway to the Black Void of Elden Ring. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Alright, let's continue the main quest line and get to Snake Dude Bro Boss Fight. It should be pretty easy to get to him from this point on. Okay. Oh, kill me now. Oh, hey, look what I found, little fucker. Don't even try to sneak up on me because it's not gonna work no matter how hard you try. Munchkins, man. Oh, okay. Never mind, you got me. Hey, Anne's back. What up, bro? There was one thought I could not dislodge from my mind. After Lord Moke's slain at his dynastic palace, it appears his body has been absconded with and taken straight to kind Mikola. Excuse Surely me? You... Wait, what the fuck? What does Mikola want with Moke's vows. body? What I'd do the anything. Hell? What could they possibly have in mind for Lord Moog's remains? The implications are rather. Uh, Mikola sounding pretty sus right now. What the? What the hell does he want with Moog's body? I thought he was the weirdo. Okay. 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 I, I, I'm not trying to fight you right now. I wouldn't want to fight me neither. Beast claws for the fucking win. Stupid fucking. Bitch. Of course, to get around this area, you gotta climb on a giant pair of feet. Oh! You messed with the wrong tarnished, you Mesmer fanboy. Oh, come on! That. Okay. Fight like a fucking person! Don't be doing ranged attacks the entire time, you fucking pussy. Get the fuck back! I'm doing better now. Fucking bat! Beast Claw for the win! Are you fucked? Word, okay. I wish you fell off the ledge, you bitch. Ah! Now I'm see now I'm starting to see why the the mixed reviews are popping up on Steam. What if I use Mogwin's Great Spear to like just bleed out all the enemies from behind the corners and stuff? I will knee heal even the bats. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> I gotta be careful though, because there is an NPC around the area and I gotta make sure I don't get them. Kneeheel! Kneeheel! Motherfucker. Man, what, what type of place are you guarding? Ah! You're a fucker. Oh shit, fuck, I am falling asleep like crazy. Sorry you guys, I'm not epileptic. Nihil! <laughs> Get knocked on your ass. Nihil! Oh. Uh, I think I know who this is. I think I have a pretty clear idea of who this is. And you know what? I'm gonna put him off for later. I'm gonna go talk to Ansbach. Wow. What's this? As if using Lord Moog to gain entrance to the Land of Shadow were not enough, he plans to use his corpse as the vessel of his king consort. What? He has the actual forsaken. fuck? So Mikola's just desecrating Moog's corpse. His... What the hell? I'm afraid Tender Mikola fails to grasp the humiliation implied by this act. One thing is certain. My dear lord deserved better. 
Well, 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 it seems little Mikola had a plan of his own and just, you know, decided to infatuate Moog and take his corpse once he was killed off so he could use him for his weird godlike rituals. Jesus goddamn Christ, this is all fucked up. This disastrous, treacherous twink. <gasps> coffin, coffin, right? Let's go. Rest in the coffin. Yes, I shall rest in the coffin. Put him in a coffin. All right, um, where did I, where did I end up at? Yeah, good morning. Good morning, good morning to you. Ah! Oh no! Oh crap! Oh crap! Wait, no! No, I didn't have it! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's the first time for that. Oh, that's gonna be a funny looking blood stain. Oh, fucking bugs. Okay, yeah, just, just eat me. Motherfucker! Why? Can you fuck off? They just fucking grab you all the goddamn time! I never do this, but how about I set a message? <laughs> Try suffering. Oh shit, I made it to Louisiana. Ah, oh, but seriously, the fuck is this place? This is horrifying. Oh, what the fuck? The spectral steed is frightened and cannot be summoned. I want to go home and then edge, of course. Turn back while you are yet able. Abyssal Woods. They really uh, are hyping up the horror surrounding this area right now, okay? Don't let it see you. Once you are seen, there is no escape. It cannot even be touched. Fuck are they talking about? What is over here? What is it, this guy? And we are good, we got everything. I gotta say, that was fun trying to figure out how to get around this map. Uh, what? Is that a fucking winter lantern? That looks like a winter lantern from Bloodborne. So you can't kill it? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god! What the fuck is this? What is this? I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. You don't you don't need me. You don't need me. You don't need me. What the fuck? This is the thing that scared the shit out of my horse. We do not have to call each other out. We do not have to cause any problems. With... Oh! Can't remember a time there was a From Software game that had a sneaking section this egregious. I mean, that wasn't too hard to sneak around, but I want to learn if I can kill those guys. Well, damn. This is not what the place looked like on Airbnb.com. Oh my god, that's creepy. Could this be a bird? Time for pickle. Off for rump. Be wary of Lord. Lord of what? Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, I'm not here. I'm not here. Ow, you son of a bitch. Why do these guys just eat? They just chomp, 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 chomp. It's fine, it's fine. We're good. And they can't climb ladders, so we're good. <laughs> Oh! I'm out of here. I beg you stop. Haven't I taken enough? Are we not brethren common in our line? And yet you offer only cruelty. I ask what crime did great Midra commit? We got another long boss buildup. Who the hell is this gonna be? Sounding. Oh, I guess someone finally came home to edge. Oh, okay, I was wrong. That wasn't pleasure. That was unbridled pain. You good, my guy? I'm coming in. I don't- I don't want there to be any, uh, I don't want there to be any- any secret funny business. The depths of your foolishness! <laughs> you look stupid. Bye-bye. Enough. I have endured more than enough. Hey, hey, dude, I, I don't know if you should pull on that. That's, uh, that's lodged in there pretty deep. Hey. Pop it. Twist it. Pull it. Damn, man, the fuck happened to you to get you in this position? Oh. Oh, well, that explains it. I will burn this planet down. Queen America, save me. I'm gonna fucking die, am I? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> okay, he flew. Okay, he can fly. They fly now? Oh! That was two hits. That was- I died in two hits. Oh, hey, calm down, Midra. Calm down. 
Whoa! That's already one-third of the health bar. God, I love how Bloodborne this boss and this entire area feels. This is, this is awesome. We got Bloodborne on PC at home, everybody. Here we go. Here it is. Oh, what is he doing? Does every boss just have a nuke in their pocket? Are you fucking serious? And that's why I didn't want him to grab me. Jump attack! Jump attack! Jump attack! <laughs> I, I want to apologize. You're out of the sky. I apologize for my outburst. Woo! Jack, get fucked! Get fucked! I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, third try? I think was that a second try? I don't know. What the hell? All right then, Lord of Frenzied Flame, beat! That easy. I mean, I am using two Flame Burge with Bleed and Frost proc, and also I was using my Mimic, but I mean, come on, I, I, I... Yeah, fuck it, I can't deny it, I'm basically playing on easy mode right now. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that shit looks sick. I think I know where I can use this. What's up, fucko? You are giving me some trouble earlier. Still alive, huh? I'll just do it again! <laughs> oh, I love this. I can't wait to use this in PvP. By the way, I just looked it up. The Winter Lanterns in the Abyss Woods, there actually is a way to kill them. You just have to parry them and they'll be completely vulnerable. By the way, yes, I did look it up. They're actually called Winter Lanterns. Like, there's- they didn't- they're not even hiding it. Sony, can you just give Miyazaki the rights to Bloodborne again? Like, you guys are being so stingy for no reason. Hey, buddy, uh, can I get that buckler shield from you? Hey, what's up, bitch? You remember me? Ha <laughs> Yes! Yes! Oh, I got it. Yep, that's right. Fucking suck it. And there we go. Got the talisman. I find it so funny, because if you never learned how to parry, these enemies are like the scariest ones you'll ever encounter. But if you know how to parry, these guys are weak as shit. God damn, but I'm so glad I finally got down to this area and I was able to collect all the map pieces. I'm actually pretty fond of this area. It reminds me of the Forbidden Woods back in Bloodborne. Anyways, uh, let's see what else I can find in this DLC. I am going to touches you in Elden Ring.